DJ Derek J. Free Talk Radio. Ian Freeman Review. What am I reviewing? There's nothing in front of me. What am I to see? A guy goes out. He knows he's going to go to jail or be handcuffed. And he does exactly what he has to do to get that way. To piss somebody off. He pissed off more people than I can ever piss off in my life. But then again, the kind of people he pissed off should all be taking these drugs that I take. Because there's no more sanity. In fact, there's more insanity in policemen, army men. I say army men because they're still there. They're all afraid to come home because they won't have anything to eat. Derek's out there showing you how stupid the cops are. How stupid that whole security business is. Because it seems more or less it's all about this is the job I have to do. This is what's in the book. I have to read the instructions how to be a cop. Because you got to be careful. Because you don't know who is dangerous. And you don't know who's dangerous. You don't know if a guy has a gun today that he's not going to use it on you tomorrow. That's why I'm not too excited about that gun law. There's got to be more to it. There's got to be more understanding. Not only are there some laws, but I don't think you're able to use a law or should use a law unless you understand the law. And Dr. J, can we use a Dr. J? You can actually feel in between what the roughnecks, usually I'm saying the cops, are feeling. And he knows exactly what to do to show you how stupid they are. But don't forget, they're protecting based on what we. Oh my God, there's too many crooks in the neighborhood. Yeah, we'll pay an extra five bucks a year each person in the neighborhood. Let's put on two more cops to protect us. But then the cities turn it into some sort of, how can they turn it into a business when they always have less money? How is it possible that all these cities and, and countries, everybody keeps um, figuring out the budget and they're not able to figure out the budget? And everybody keeps going bankrupt and needs to borrow money. Isn't that retarded? If I don't figure out my budget, I won't be able to pay my rent and I'll have nowhere to stay. Do you know how many of us would be on the street? Do you know how many of us who don't have much money right now and are not living on the street because they know how to budget but the government can't? The same way they can't budget is the same way they can implicate laws because they don't understand the laws. Everybody wants to feel protected. When you have somebody going up to give a speech, the mayor of a town, the people have chosen this mayor and personally Unless they're voting 75% on these people, they shouldn't be in election. In fact, if you really want to have a vote, it should be the people throwing, throwing pieces of paper in a ballot box in order to get the vote, in order to, so we can have sanity between the laws. Yeah, he went out there. Derek went out there. I thought it was a fantastic, it was very, I thought it was just a fantastic, can I say, reportage on the entire thing. But yes, you can't antagonize. You just can't. And you can't wear the hat because we're in a court. We're trying to make it the same for everybody. It doesn't look professional if one has a hat and the other one doesn't. It's all a big question. What's right and what's wrong? And who should decide and where do we get the answer of the right and the wrong? Where does it come from? How do you know what's right? Because it sounds right to you. Do not cross the line. You go bowling, you cross the line when you throw the ball. You get a zero. It's the laws of the game. But God made man special. He made man that if he crosses the line, he can open his mouth and say, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have gone across the line. Can you explain it to me, please? But the police, part of their job, is to talk and explain things all day. And they get tired and frustrated and they just say, okay, Derek J., you're coming with me. Then he says, can I smoke a joint? He didn't say, can I smoke a joint? Can I smoke one? 
Is he supposed to interpret? He should have went to the policeman and said, Hey, Mr. Policeman, I really like to have a cigarette, but I don't smoke cigarettes. But I'm going to be smoking a joint. Are you going to bother me about it? That's what he should have said. He should have tried to open up some, because he opened up conversations with other policemen, but nobody wanted to take part. Everybody's scared to talk. Before anybody should get a job in the public, they should learn that they have to talk to us. Unless, like the lady with the sign to cross the street, unless you're doing that, there's kids around, don't bother the lady. She's got kids to walk across the street. She can't talk to you. But she was a mean, excuse me, she was a mean bitch. Don't forget, the government is basically two-sided. This is the only king that will have one eye, but four directions. Each one staying on its own side. He only has to look on this side. Spirit comes from this side, but we won't talk about that. Everybody knows there's four sides to a straight line, don't you? What's going straight is north and south, and from where you start to where you end is east and west. Anyways, yet, yeah, not to get off that subject. Um, sometimes when you draw a thin line, you seem to double or recreate okay something that's not there but what's not there is the trouble is the trouble everybody knows now you you guys are in keen okay I don't know what it's like apparently I understand it uh, that uh, Jay fooled around and did all this in keen so he basically had a feel for everybody so at some point you can almost see like like I was asking myself is this whole thing a setup because they weren't really um, that rough with him oh my god that's that's retarded you see what they did with him, pulling him into another room? Well, if it was all real, of course, unless you guys set it all up. But if it was all real, that's disgusting. Of course it's disgusting, but who wants anybody to, to, don't bother me. What are you asking me for? Again and again and again, the cops said, this is the way it is. But what is with this camera shit in the courtrooms? Is it because somebody else is afraid to get sued? You know, there's so many things and there's so many things. We have to better understand what our liberties are all about. Because I'll tell you one thing. If people in City Hall or people in the in police officers cannot actually inflict the law the way it has to be inflicted, then there shouldn't be a law to start with, or the law should be basic. You're not hitting, shooting, killing anybody, then therefore you're okay. If you're making too much noise and there's people speaking all around town, yes, we all pay for our space. But the space you used is the space you walked in. So therefore, there is no more space to open up your big mouth and say anything because there's people busy doing business. And we need a little bit of that space. Is there anything else I can say? He had to leave town. Well, you know what? That's what they should have just told him. They just should have given them three, four warnings. If you're going to have a big mouth, and, and give them a list of what's going to happen. Say, okay, you're going to have to leave town. So we left town. It took a whole year. Something like that shouldn't be able to take you. They should have thrown him out of town right away. Because he was standing up for what was right. And you know what happens when you stand up for what's right. You get knocked down right away. But there's a way to do it. Are we doing it the right way? But then if we start to get together as a group to try and inflict the rules... The, the right way, they would call us that we're a gang. So now that they're, they're coming against us, sometimes we have to break the laws because they can't call us a gang. We're looking for liberty. In fact, maybe everybody should be setting up, maybe it's time to set up the dual police system. Those protecting the ones who are doing right, like Derek J. There should have been maybe the militia there. And you should be starting the militia from town to town until we big up big enough. But you got to have a little book. you got to have a little book. Some sort of little book with ten basic laws in it that explain the ten laws right from the beginning. And then every other law, no matter what, should all be employed into this. That's all. Raphael7286. I guess we can call that the review. It was good. I liked it. I really loved The more cameras, my friend, the better. More cameras, more microphones, more cameras, more microphones. You know what I'm saying? What's in your house is in your house. But the minute you come into an open lot and you want to make sure the rules, because we don't have enough lawyers, and the lawyer says, bring me some good information. Bring me the truth. 
So you take it, you film it, and then they say, hey, you're not allowed to film it. Well, how do you want to bring the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, but bring in a film, bring in a camera, bring in a microphone. Hey, man, that's the truth. If the lawyer and judge says bring the truth, and the whole truth is out of a video camera, then bring the video camera. When are you destroying it? You're destroying the truth. The minute they destroy your video camera, they have broken the law. They are destroying the whole truth. Take care, Ian. I like your show.